Hello, Loveland. Uh, we're here at the Life Food Pantry today with some Life Food Pantry people and C.C. Collins with the Chamber of Commerce and Cassie Mattia with Loveland Magazine. And we have a presentation you're going to witness today. So, uh, C.C., what's going on? Well, we are here to follow up from last weekend, David. Um, we uh, put together a food drive and um, I guess a fundraiser as well, if you will, last weekend on Easter to help out the food pantry. We know a lot that goes on during the Christmas holiday and Thanksgiving holiday. We wanted to do something um, middle of the year and see if we could help out. And um, Cassie was the leader of this, so we were very grateful for her coming to us and asking us to partner, and it was just been a blast. So um, we have a check that we wanted to hand off to Linda. And uh, first, thank you all, as always, for everything you do in the community, um, all your volunteers, and everything you personally do and the passion you put behind this. Um, it means a lot to Loveland. And um, so we have a small check and we, we hope to grow it, but right now we have $170 um, that folks donated last weekend as they came to the booth. Um, we got a lot of food and I'll let yes. you talk about that because I know you kind of went through that, but we were actually happy to get some cash as well and make yes. that donation. So look forward to growing that. Thank you very much. Yes, um, it was a very successful drive last weekend, thanks to the Chamber and to Cassie. Um, we had physical food donations in addition to some cash donations and then the Venmo, was it Venmo or PayPal? It was Venmo. It was Venmo yes. <laughs> um, donations as well. Um, this does mean a lot to the pantry, especially this time of year. We notice that contributions are down and the economy right now is struggling, so food itself is an issue in the grocery stores. It's harder for us to even purchase things because some things are just not available. And so the ability to do purchasing and to have things come in to stock the shelves for our clients is just remarkable. Our clients have grown nearly 50% since COVID hit two years ago with the pandemic. And so we're feeding more people, we're feeding more people frequently, and the need is enormous. So contributions like this and drives like this just makes such a huge difference in the family dynamics in our community. So we are so very, very grateful. So uh, maybe two months ago, the, the pantry put out word that they'd like to have uh, people conduct food drives, whether in neighborhoods or individuals. So Cassie took that to heart and organized this food drive and asked the chamber to partner so that's what happened and it was the Easter food drive uh, underneath the town clock and historic level. So uh, Cassie, you've got something to give to the pantry today. And then I wanted you to talk a little bit about why you, want, why you organized the food drive. Well, I know one of the big things is a lot of people think that this takes up so much time and effort. And honestly, I mean, if you want to go over the top, maybe, but it wasn't that much time and effort. It was really easy to set up. I mean, you can literally get an organization together, sit right here and ask for donations and put it out on social media. It's so easy. So that's kind of what we did. We didn't know when we wanted to do it. And then we thought Easter, right? It's, it's really the holiday of giving back. Um, it's somewhat of a religious holiday, so it's a lot of it's family oriented and whatnot. So we thought that Easter weekend would be the best time to do it. And why not do it in the heart of it all in downtown Loveland, right under the historic clock? Um, we had a ton of kids. We gave out Easter eggs, um, a ton of just people from the community that I had never met that knew of us and what we did, which was really cool. So I made a lot of great connections. I know uh, CC and Meredith were there too to help us set up. Um, my boyfriend was there. I dragged him along. I think he was happy about it. <laughs> and um, Linda was there in the beginning as well. David was there all day. And I also had some interns. Um, Mahi, she, thank you so much. And um, also Sean Beeling, thank you so much as well. Uh, they helped and you know, they're kids. They didn't have to do this. They could have gone to like Kings Island or something that day, who knows, but they helped too. So what I wanted to do and what Loveland Magazine wanted to do today is um, offer another check of $120 Ooh, to you. Very nice. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, yes. We want to give back to, and you know, the 170, I'm sure that's going to help, but we thought why not add a little bit more to it along with the food donations. So um, we just want to continue this momentum, this partnership with both of us and not just having fun, you know, uh, 
events where you just kind of eat and drink. We want to do events like these too. And I'm sure Cece can Absolutely. attest to that as well. Yeah. So um, I did have one question. Yes. Linda, how much food did we collect? Because I really didn't connect with you on that. Do you know like kind of like an estimate of the food there was that a, we collected? Yeah, it was approximately 75 pounds, Woo. which is a, a large amount of food. And coincidentally, this event happened on the day of our kickoff for our Feed the Hungry right. campaign. Yeah. And so that is really significant because it's really, as Cassie said, very, very easy to do a food drive or to simply go onto our website, hit PayPal for $5 a month, the cost of a cup of coffee, a continuing donation, that brings in you know $60 within a year. If we could get 100 donors to just do even $5 a month, that $500 is a huge amount for the food pantry. And so just little things like that is really, really important. And so I encourage everybody to go to PayPal on um, lifefoodpantry.org and make a monthly contribution. It's kind of like a pledge break. Yes. Um, make your monthly, monthly contribution. It just comes out and it can be as much or as little as you want, but it makes enormous differences to the families in need, especially going into summer when our kids are not going to be receiving free and reduced breakfast and lunch. So uh, thank you guys for everything. Um, sorry, the check's a little short. The idea was to match, <laughs> to, match it, yeah. to match it, but so we're we are grateful for. We're every really pleased guy. though that the the other check that CC brought is is bigger than I thought it was going to be, uh, and thank you, Loveland. Thank you to everyone who volunteered and who brought food and who contributed dollars. Um, we'll put some links in our story uh, so you can keep donating online and. We'll put the link in about how you can contact Linda about having your own food drive. Uh, Loveland is at the far edges of three counties. So with our diverse population, even though the presumption is that Loveland is really affluent, our diverse population in Loveland is that there are a lot of people in need here on a daily basis. And of course, of course with uh, we've not recovered from the recession people haven't uh, and then with COVID hitting people haven't recovered from that either yet as far as having dollars in their pocket for for food uh, so being at the far edge of those three counties Loveland is far away from county services and other food pantries and other help that people in other places can get so from Loveland to Lebanon, from Loveland to Batavia, from Loveland downtown Cincinnati is pretty far for people to go. Transportation is a tremendous need when you're living in Loveland and uh, getting cars fixed and so forth. So it's not easy. So thank God the Life Food Pantry is right here in our town. So uh, thank you all for being here. Yep. Yes, thank you. Thanks, David. Thanks, everyone. Okay. See you, Loveland. See you later, Loveland. Yep.